Swimoutlet.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at Swimoutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, August 21st, 2012. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. The United States women's water polo team have finally won Olympic gold, and it's due in no small part to the tournament MVP, Maggie Steffens, who joins us today in the Phoenix Monitor from her home in Danville, California. Maggie, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. How are you today? Good. Thank you for having me. I'm sure you're a little bit jet lagged, but that um, <laughs> high of winning Olympic gold is probably uh, offsetting all that. Yeah, just a little bit. You can hear it in my voice. I like haven't slept very well the past few nights, but well, it's all... you know, it's to be expected. Um, so uh, again, congratulations on that gold medal. Do you have it with you there? I do. I always have it with me. Here it is. Absolutely pretty. Is it? A lot of people say this. Is it actually? Is it pretty heavy? Yeah, it's really heavy. Every time I give it to somebody, they're not expecting it. <clears throat> they're I was like, whoa. So heavy, I didn't know, and I was like, "Yeah." Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, like you said, you're, you're never gonna have that leave your side, at least until the the 2016 Rio Games when you can have a, a, a companion for it. Yeah, hopefully, knock on wood. Yeah, so um, so it's been about a week. When did the reality of winning that gold medal sink in? To be honest, I don't think it's happened yet. <laughs> I feel like I've we were so focused on the tournament and this has been our goal training for over three years and my goal in life for since I was five years old or whatnot. So I feel like I'm still kind of living in the moment and just taking everything in and we just won a water polo game. Okay, now we move on. But then as I come home and everybody's like so excited to see the medal, <clears throat> it starts to sink in. But I don't think I really hit reality yet that we did it. Well, you, you definitely uh, were on fire at this tournament. You scored 21 <laughs> goals in a span of two weeks. How's your arm doing? <laughs> it's doing pretty good, actually. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's a lot of, of competition over during the Olympics. You guys play, I believe, six games over the, the whole tournament. <laughs> I mean, how do you guys keep your enthusiasm and energy level up for each game as it goes on throughout the tournament? <clears throat> I think excuse me, <clears throat> I think it's really um, using, <clears throat> excuse me, I cannot speak, using each other for energy. Um, we've wanted this for so long and we've worked so hard to get here that, you know, in our off days, we really like to have fun with each other and just remind each other that it's just a water polo tournament, just a water polo game. So not getting too involved on the off days, just letting ourselves have fun with each other. But then on game days, we just really focus on one game that day. And I think that's what got us through those long two weeks for sure. Well, I think probably one of the more nail-biting matches was that uh, preliminary match against Spain where you tied 9-9. Nine to nine. And yeah. you guys ended up facing them again in the final. Uh, knowing how that turn, how that match went in the in the prelims, how did that affect how you uh, played against Spain in the final? Um, we really wanted to play Spain. You know, that was the only team. A lot of people were talking about Spain in the tournament. They were undefeated. Nah, nah, nah. But so are we. We just tied them, and we wanted to play them again so we could show to ourselves and show to the world that we were the better team and that we deserve this gold medal this gold medal and you know I think that we and it was good for us we ended up coming second out of our bracket because we tied to Spain and so that meant that we ended up kind of taking the more difficult route I would say we played Italy in the quarterfinal and Australia in the semifinal which ended up going into overtime and those are have been two of the top teams in the past three years. So we were really excited to, you know, show our way, beat these tough teams and be able to play Spain again and be like, we're USA, that tie doesn't matter, this is a new game, this is a more important game. 
What was it like to have your older sister there on the team with you? Oh, it was really fun. We had so much fun together. We actually shared a room together in the village in our apartments. And at first I was a little nervous because you know how siblings get. We always fight a little bit. But uh, this actually made us closer, I think, because there was so much going on and we really have a lot of respect for each other. And um, She had a great tournament and we really enjoyed ourselves in those through that three-week period. Yeah, I can't imagine there's any sibling rivalry. I mean, you're not yes. competing against each other. You're competing with each other. Yeah. Yeah, no, not at all. You know, I think in, in training, you're always competing against each other. You're always beating your teammates up. So it's fun to be able to actually play against other teams and beat them up with each other, <laughs> you know, so for sure. Now, you played soccer and you were a swimmer, correct? Yeah. Well, I can imagine that water polo is that perfect combination for you. Oh, for sure. It's, water polo is a combination of so many different sports, and that's why I love it so much. You know, I grew up in a swimming family. I started swimming when I was like two years old in six and unders or whatever. And then I did soccer and basketball, and I tried volleyball here and there. And so when water polo came out, it was such a combination of everything I had done. It just seemed so natural to me. And it was way more fun in the sense because there was so much to it, but it was so quick paced that you could really get into it. And, uh, yeah, once I started playing, I was like, this is it. This is my sport. <laughs> well, given how, well, I mean, I played water polo before. Given how grueling yeah. it seems physically, would you say water polo players are the fittest aquatic sport athletes? Um... I would like to say that. I don't want to put down any other <laughs> aquatic sports, but I do think that um, water polo is the most demanding on your body uh, in terms of water, and it was even voted in this year as the most demanding sport or most, um, you have to be like the most in shape for it, and I really do believe that because it's like basketball where you're going up and down, up and down. The whole game, it's not like there's defense and offense and you get to kind of chill between um, segments. Now, two other players on the team with you, Anika Dries and Melissa Seidemann, are going to yeah. be with you at Stanford yeah. um, this year. Now, I got to imagine, if I were playing, if I were on another college team playing Stanford, I would say, you know, what's the point? We, they've got three Olympian gold medalists on their team. I mean... You guys have got to be pretty stoked about how this season is going to be turning out. Yeah, we're really excited. It's going to be fun, especially for me. I'm just excited to go to college in general and finally be a student. Uh, but as for the water polo, we're just excited to go and get to play with each other for at least one more year and in a different environment. International water polo is so much different than collegiate water polo. And, you know, we even have Kylie Neuschel, who was um, pretty much MVP of college water polo. Um, last year and is going to be a sophomore. So we have a lot of really, really great individuals on the team, but all of the individuals are really good team players. You know, Mel and Ani are great team players. And so I think that it's really going to mesh well and it'll be fun to, to play <laughs> together. Yeah, everybody's going to be definitely looking at you given, that, uh, how, given how well you play at the Olympics. Maggie, thanks so much for joining us. Congratulations again on your gold medal. And Thank you. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing how you do, not just in this collegiate season, but um, I would imagine next year at the World Championships. Yeah, hopefully we can. I would love to get a World Championships medal since we didn't do too well in 2011. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks again, Maggie, and um, have a good rest yeah. of the day. Thanks. You too. All right, so that's water polo MVP. MVP is, uh, putting it mildly, Maggie Steffens. That's going to do it for today's Morning Swim Show. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.